Hello, my name is David Parker. I'm with the Civil Rights Justice Center, which is a law firm here in Seattle, Washington. And I wanted to do a quick video on a topic that appears to be affecting a lot of men out there. Um, and that is the uh, frustration of a custody battle. Um, you know, a lot of men are, are, are very frustrated that they keep losing. You know, why, you know, why do I keep losing? And so I wanted to talk about the top five mistakes that men make in a custody battle. Okay, number one, negotiating with the mother over the phone. Yeah, yeah, this is a bad move. Um, it will most likely lead to an argument that you can't win, and she can accuse you of anything. Why? Because it's her word against yours. You never want to be in a, a position where it's her word against yours. You're going to take a loss on that one. So, I mean, and it can also lead to accusations of harassment or verbal abuse. You know, she can say anything and accuse you of anything and it's her word against yours and you don't want to be in that position. So avoid the phone at all costs with the mother. Number two, not being the petitioner in, in the case. You know, do not assume she wants to keep things out of court. Even if she, even if she says she does, you know, why would she? She knows that she has as a woman, an enormous advantage in family court. You know, why would she avoid a place where she has that big of an advantage? No. So you should be proactive and that way she is on defense and she has to react to you. You be proactive, you start the case, you be the petitioner in the case. Let her be the respondent. Number three, agreeing to a deal that she offers. Now, this is a classic maneuver a lot of mothers um, will do, and, and this is typically a setup where she convinces you to agree to terms that make you look bad. <laughs> okay, so you have to really pay attention um, to this. Um, and what this does is this gives her power and leverage in future battles. So make sure that any deal that is made out of court benefits you short and long term. Okay? Number four. Assuming the judge read or looked at your declarations, your exhibits, your evidence, judges often do not take the time to read every word in your file before the hearing. So you only get one shot to make your case in front of that judge. And if you're the petitioner, um, and if you're, no, well, if you're the respondent, which men typically are, you only get one opportunity to, opportunity to speak while the petitioner gets two. So make sure you have your response written down. That way you state all of your strongest points and nothing gets missed. Number five, not reading the terms of your parenting plan. You must know every detail of your parenting plan. Okay, do not violate any of the terms in your parenting plan. And if the mother does not comply with the parenting plan, you make sure you document every time that she does not comply with the parenting plan. Okay? Um, in fact, you should even go as far as making a log or log any time that you interact with your child. You know, talk about how things went, the things that you did, the times that you did them. You know, document everything. Documentation is key to you getting what you want in family court. Okay? So these are the top five mistakes to avoid in a custody battle. If you avoid these top five mistakes, you will be in a much better position going forward and you will get more time with your child.